Hi guys, welcome to Nerdbytes, and this is going to be my spoiler review for episode 2 of season 1 of The Last Kingdom. Obviously I've done episode 1, you can look down in my videos for that previous video, but let's get on with episode 2. Again, I'm not going to be able to remember the names so well, but I will try my best. So, episode uh, 2 starts with uh, Ulfrid and Rita looking for Uber, which is uh, Ragnar's like, right-hand man kind of guy, the guy you don't want to fuck with because everybody's afraid of him, so he's a nutcase, and trying to convince him that... Ulfrid didn't kill Ragnar because there's been rumours going all over the place and he's trying to get to Uber before he's told all these things and trying to tell him whatever it is you've heard is not true. It wasn't me, it was this person instead. Again, can't remember the name. When he finally gets to Uber, he enters the room and tries to reason with him. Um, Uber's busy kind of interrogating and torturing this um, priest guy and it's a really, really cool scene because the priest is obviously trying to tell them about God. Obviously, they don't know about God, they only about Thor and Odin, Loki and so on and so forth. They don't know what God and what Jesus is, they don't, they haven't got a clue. And they're trying, you're trying to explain, well, basically God is, is the man, he's the man that created everything. Odin doesn't exist, what's going on? And it's obviously this back and forth of religion and all this kind of stuff, and he thinks that God's going to save him, he said if it's the will of the gods for me to die, I'll die, if not it will save me, and trying to explain to them, and then he fires, gets, he gets his men to fire three arrows at this guy, he goes straight through his brutal, it's fucking awesome, and then he falls to the ground, and it's just a, a really cool thing, because it's kind of, it's kind of showing that, you know, when it comes down to the wire, it doesn't matter whether you believe in religion or not, it's you that decides whether you're going to live or not. You know what I mean? It's not going to be anybody else. No one upstairs is going to t tell you that. And it's just a really cool scene trying to get the uh, in and outs of religion a bit more, really. And trying to say the fact that basically God and Odin and, like, Jesus and Thor, they, they're the same thing. They are the same thing. It's just depending on which way you believe in it. One of the really cool things I liked about this episode as well was the sword. He decides to pay this uh, blacksmith to make a really awesome sword. Simple but elegant and he puts his father's kind of jewel that he gets at the start of episode 1 into the hilt. And it's a cool looking sword. Simple viking but with a little bit of added style to it. Really cool sword. And then um, him and Breeder get chased through the town and then some really cool shots. Like even had like a helicopter shot of them running through. Just the, the camera angles on that were really quite awesome. And when he first used the sword, it's a really cool way of doing it. They're down to the last doom, and then he's running for them. They run behind a door, shut the door, and she's looking through the gap to say, not yet, not yet, not yet. And she goes, now, and he just stabs through the door as the guy t gets upon the door, straight through the guy's head, and pulls it out. Just a really in good introduction to this awesome sword. Another character I didn't mention in episode 1, uh, he ends up finding again in, in episode 2, This his priest friend, again the name escapes me, but he finds him in another town, uh, and then obviously he vouches for Uthred and Breeder and says that I know these people, they're fine, but the fact that the king and the townsfolk and everyone there are a little bit wary of them, and the king, uh, I think his name is Alfred as far as I remember, he kind of doesn't know what to think of Uthred, he doesn't know whether he's just a viking spy, whether he's genuine, he's really not quite sure, and later on, Ulthra is busy trying to explain to him that the Vikings are going to kill you, they're going to do this kind of stuff, I know their tactics, I can do this, I can help you, and they kind of table it, you know, they have a little bit of a discussion of democracy and people bantering back and forth and all that kind of stuff, but they kind of table it, and then later on the episode, near the end, they capture the two of them and put them inside a cage, like a floating cage, because they don't trust them at all, and that's how the episode ends with them in the cage, looking really pissed off. Just a really cool way because it amps it up for the next episode. It's like, how are they going to get out of this? It's going to be really cool. I hope he kind of talks his way out of it. Because one thing I really think is cool is the way that Ultra's character at the moment, the way it's being portrayed, he's quite, he's cleverer than, it, than he's letting on. He's quite a clever bloke. He's like, he, he can talk his way out of things, I think. And I'm looking forward to the development of this character because I'm really enjoying it. I can't remember the actor that's playing him, but it's a cool pick. I think he's doing really well at the moment. So that was my spoiler review for episode 2 of season 1 of The Last Kingdom. Episode 3 will be coming at the end of this week after I've seen it on Thursday night on BBC. Uh, I think it's 9 o'clock it's on. Uh, BBC 2 I, re uh, I think it is as well. So make sure you look out for it and then look out for my review the following day. So did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me on the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbytes anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And of course, keep it nerdy.